My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. Under the kinetic theory of matter, you need to know melting, which is change of state of matter from solid to liquid. Vaporization, change of state of matter from liquid to vapor or gaseous state. Boiling, which occurs when the saturated vapor pressure is equal to atmospheric pressure. Or when uh, liquid molecules begin to gain kinetic energy and they begin to turn to gases. Freezing, change of state of matter from liquid state to solid state. And condensation is change of state of matter from gaseous state to liquid state. We've touched all this earlier in the introduction and under change of state of Lord. matter. Now, according to gas behavior, we have two types of gases. The real gases and the ideal gases. The real gas, the ideal gases are perfect gases. They are gases that obey all gas laws. They obey everything. The sad reality is that ideal gases don't exist in true life. Nothing like perfect gases. They only exist in the mind of scientists. They just feel this is how a perfect gas should be. So, under certain conditions, the real gases that we have, they deviate from ID gas conditions or behavior. This, the idea of ID gas is that particle needs to exist, uh, occupy zero volume. So, the gas particles, they need to occupy zero volume and there should be no attractive force towards each other, which means the volume of the gas particles should be negligible and the gas particles, they should not attract each other. There should not be attractive force between them. That is the idea of the ideal gas. But real gases, they deviate from the ideal gas behavior under two conditions. At high pressure and low temperature, real gases, they disobey the ideal gas law. So you may be asked, under what condition does, or, uh, does the real gases deviate from the ideal gas condition? At high pressure and at low temperature. Do you know why? At high pressure, the volume of free gases don't approach zero. Because ideal gases say the particle needs to occupy zero volume. When you increase the pressure of free gases, the volume doesn't approach zero or it is not negligible. And at low temperature, the intermolecular forces, they are not negligible. Meanwhile, ideal gases say that the attractive force between each gases must be zero. There should be no attractive force between the gas molecules. You see, free gases deviate from these ideal gases under those conditions. The velocity of particles is inversely proportional to the square root of their mass. Or velocity is, inversely proportion is directly proportional to the square root of temperature. So, the energy objects possess when they are moving or due to motion is kinetic energy. Therefore, kinetic theory already suggests that what happens when these things move? What happens when gases move or when matter moves? One, matter is made up of particles which are continuously in motion and so they possess kinetic energy. Since these particles are in motion, they possess kinetic energy. And the particles of matter are atoms molecules and ions so these particles are in motion the second says these particles move at varying speed and so they have different kinetic energy we know that matter is made up of particles atoms molecules and ions and they are continuously moving they are instead of random motion or they are continually moving let's take it that way but they don't all possess the same speed so particles are slower than others some are faster than the others. Therefore, they have varying speed. Since they have varying speed, their energy due to motion, which is kinetic energy, will vary. The third says, the mean of these energies is referred to as average kinetic energy of the particles. So, since they are moving in different speed, when you look for the average of this speed, their average, you add them, divided by how many they are, mean, statistics, so that mean of this energy is referred to the average kinetic energy of the particles. And the speed and distance of these particles increase as temperature increases. As you can see, 
the velocity is directly proportional to temperature. As temperature increases, the kinetic energy increases, so they begin to move and collide, move fast, 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 fast. And the evidence of the kinetic theory of matter are seen in Brownian motion, which is the random motion of the body, and as they collide with each other and the wall of the container. Brownian motion is seen in particles of polygrains in water. Then diffusion is an evidence of the kinetic theory of matter, movement of particles from a region of higher concentration to regions of lower concentration. Osmosis is an evidence of the kinetic theory of matter, movement of fluid through a semi-permeable membrane. And sublimation is an evidence of the particle nature kinetic theory of matter, when substance is changed from the solid state directly to gas gaseous state without passing through the liquid state. And evaporation is another evidence of the kinetic theory of matter. Evaporation is when uh, matter begins to change from the liquid state to gaseous state, begins to evaporate, also dissolution. If you are asked what are the evidence or which are the following is an evidence of the kinetic theory of matter, they are Brownian motion, diffusion, osmosis, sublimation, evaporation, and dissolution. Take note of all that. And the factors that affect diffusion are temperature, nature of the solutes, area, and stirring. These are factors that affect diffusion. Now, we are done with the kinetic theory of matter. Or matter. Let's look at the kinetic theory of gases. We know that matter exists in three forms. Solid, liquid, and gases. So this one is focusing mainly on the gases. The first theory is that Get gases are made up of molecules which are in motion. Gases are made up of molecules and these molecules are in motion. Gas molecules move randomly. So the motion of gas molecule is random motion, which is zigzag motion of the body. And they move around this random motion in a straight line. In a straight line. And they collide with one another and the container. You put them inside container. As they are moving, they are hitting themselves, bah, bah, and in the process, they are hitting the container. Ooh. So that is the behavior. And it says, the collision between gas molecules is elastic. Momentum is the product of a body's mass or an object's mass and velocity. If you take a ball, two balls, you knock them together, you notice that they will bounce back. So kinetic energy is conserved. The, the energy remains. The momentum is observed. The mass remains. So, but this is a elastic collision. When two particles or two objects collide and they still retain their speed, their velocity, they bounce back, but, but they don't go, they don't join together or otherwise. So, the collision between gas molecules is elastic. And the volume occupied by the gas molecule is negligible compared to the volume of the container. It says, if you look at container and you see gas molecules here, the volume that this gas molecule actually occupy is negligible compared to the volume of container, meaning it tends to zero. So you can ignore it, like it doesn't even matter, it doesn't even occupy volume. That's what this theory suggests. And five, the attractive force between gas molecules are negligible. And these are the two things ID gases are actually focused on. That the volume of the gas molecules must be zero or negligible. The force between the molecules, the coercive force, this is a gas molecule, this is gas molecule, gas molecule. So the force between them that they, are, they have in itself should be negligible. And the temperature of gas molecule is a measure of average, kin average kinetic energy. So temperature is a measure of average kinetic energy of particles. That is kinetic theory of matter and kinetic theory of gases. Let's take a look at the questions. A. Random motion of particles increase from liquid to gas. It means, if we say something increase, it means from small to bigger. This suggests that in liquid, uh, the random motion is lower than that of gas, which is true. In gases, we have more of the disorderliness, more of random motion. A is true. B, random motion of particles increase from gas to solid. B suggests that solids, they move faster than gases, which is not correct. So option B is not peculiar to matter. C, 
kinetic energy of particles increase from solid to gas? Obviously, yes. Orderliness of particles increase from gases to liquid. Yes, gases are more disorderly. Liquids are more orderly. So as you move from gas to liquid, orderliness increase. So option B is correct. We've used the knowledge of kinetic theory of matter to answer a perfect question. And which of the following is not a statement of the postulate of the kinetic theory of gases? So all of these, which of them is not a kinetic theory of gas? A, B, and C are. Ah, D is not. D says molecules move with the same speed. And we're able to establish that molecules, they move at different speeds. Therefore, we look for the ki average kinetic energy since they move at different speed. According to kinetic theory, an increase in temperature causes the kinetic energy of particles to increase. As you increase temperature, kinetic energy will increase like we've already established. So I'm just using this question to refresh our memory because everything you'll be asked under this theory, I've already spilled them out for you. Gas exerts pressure on its container because the molecules of a gas collide with the walls of the container. Option C is correct. And the coercive forces between gas molecules are negligible. Evaporation, sublimation, diffusion, Brownian motion, which of the above can correctly be listed as evidence of the particle nature of matter? All of them can be listed like we've seen here. Option B is correct. And which of the following decreases when the given mass of a gas is compressed to half of its initial velocity? When you compress gas, the average intermolecular distance will drop. Because as temperature increases, the intermolecular distance will increase. But as you compress, the average intermolecular distance will reduce. The lowest level of molecular disorderliness is found in dash. It means which of the following has the highest orderliness. Obviously not steam. Obviously not water at 100 degrees Celsius because it's already boiling. Ice at minus 10 degrees Celsius will be more packed than ice at 0 degrees Celsius. So C is the correct option. And the velocity V of a gas is related to its mass by V is directly proportional to 1 over square root of m, which means V is equals k over square root of m, which is the same thing as V is equals k m over m raised to the power of 1 over 2, as seen in option B. Diffusion is slowest in solid particles than particles of liquid and gases because solid particles have less kinetic energy than the particles of liquids and gases. And the basic assumption in the kinetic theory of gases that the collision of the gas molecules are perfectly elastic implies that gaseous molecules will continue their motion indefinitely. They don't go. They don't go. Thanks for watching. You're one and only teacher from the future. I hope you found this class interesting. Feel free to check out the playlist for more amazing, amazing videos. And don't fail to install the Flash Learners application right now for notes, videos, and questions to meet all your needs. Subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out any of my sweet videos. See you in the next episode. Don't forget to turn everyone around in the Flash Learners. Bye.